friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat twist bengal india this is a white cataract and at this moment we don't know how hard the nucleus is let us observe management of this cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision there is some oozing of blood from the incisions and that is fine healing becomes better if we include some capillaries in the incisions an air bubble has been injected and underneath this air bubble the tripan blue dye is applied to stain the anterior capsule the dye is washed out and then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now capsulorexis i'm using a needle to incise the capsule i get a tag i hold this capsular tag and do a small rexis at this moment there is some loose cortical matter and there is some convexity of the anterior surface of the lens so i wanted to decrease the intra lenticular pressure for a safe rexis and now as i aspirate the white lens matter we find this hard brown nucleus yes this is a, a really very hard nucleus we will see in a short time how hard it is now inject visco again take a vana scissor and make a small nick at the margin of this mini rexis at around 7 o'clock now we use these utrita forceps again and do an adequate size to rexis nucleus is hard and i did a rexis of about 6 mm and now is the time to do to manage this nucleus the fecu needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down some superficial lens matter is removed i have exposed the fecu needle little more to manage this hard nucleus now i bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus go towards the opposite equator and get a nice crack and though the fecu needle was in the substance you can see that still the track is not deep and here we can see this endonucleus emulsify the endonucleus and start chopping the larger fragments as uh, as we start chopping the larger fragments we will get some free pieces and we can start emulsifying from those free pieces and here is one this is a free small nuclear piece from the beginning vacuum is 450 mm of mercury ultrasonic energy is 85% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and we have emulsified almost one quarter of the nucleus this piece tumbled divided into two pieces 
and then emulsify and now we are towards the end of the nucleus management and there is no protective covering of the posterior capsule no epinucleus no cortex covering the posterior capsule and the chance of catching the posterior capsule in such cases is very high so during emulsification of the last small pieces we can decrease the parameters we can do it slowly we have to see that the antichamber is very stable we can even do the IVL scaffold technique to emulsify the last piece and now I'm using a Simco cannula to manage the cortex we can use a coaxial IA but this is a safer instrument than other devices the side port is very small the Simco is not going in I make another side port at 7 o'clock to remove the cortex from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock and now I inject visco fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber and then implant a monofocal single piece intraocular lens in the capsular bag dial the lens place the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound so that I can go behind the eye well and remove the visco which is filling off the capsular bag which is behind the lens behind the intraocular lens first I irrigate with Simco and in this case since the erexis was quite large and as I went behind the nucleus the haptic which was towards 9 o'clock came out and yes this can happen when if you go behind the eye well the haptic may come out particularly when the erexis is big I try to place it in the bag with the help of a Simco cannula could not do it so I went with the Simco through the 7 o'clock side port and by the Simco itself I could place it in the bag and now the this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side port is closed the side port which is at around 2 o'clock is closed by hydrating corneal stroma the side port at 7 o'clock doesn't require any hydration it is made with a keratome and it comes through the conjunctiva you can see some cortex at 7 o'clock So I go with the Simco through the main wound and 
and remove this cortex. Form the antechamber very nicely, check the integrity of the ohms and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.